What's good everybody? It's Daniel back again for another video already. Like I said, I want to make videos, get people viewing them, get people knowing that I'm still here and all that. So this is going to be a what's inside my baseball bag high school edition for the 2020 season as me playing for East Detroit Shamrock. So I'm going to show you my bag first and I'm going to show you everything and I'm going to do it by category. So like accessories, shoes, cleats, slides, flops. Let's just get right into it. So the bag, this is the first thing that I have. It's a Nike Trout MVP bat bag of nice detailing back here. On the zipper, it's got white and black. And that has two spots right here, one right here and one right here to hold your bat. It's got nice padding with the Nike logo and then it has a hook right here. And then it has this small pouch where I put my phone because it has a special material on it to make sure that it doesn't crack. Bottom compartment for the cleats. But what? Forget the bag. Let's just, let's just jump right into it. I'm excited. So I guess we'll start off with accessories, like miscellaneous stuff. So first things first, I got two things of chapstick. Elmer's gel glue stick that I use for pine tar because it's way more stickier. And I have Tiger Balm arthritis rub for my shoulder and my knees. Just pain cream, no big deal. Just helps make sure that I stay healthy and all that. Uh, I have a Shock Doctor knee brace. You can see Shock Doctor logo, it's just a knee brace with like a special gel in it for my knee because I do hurt my knee a lot because I play third base now which I want to play second base but my friend who's brand new he he became really good at it so I'm just like you know I'll let him have it no big deal um my practice bang gloves because I'm getting new ones Nike Hirachi Edge bang gloves they were all white but now they're like cream colored Nike bang gloves you should get but make sure you use them just for practice because these will tear easily, but they're really soft. Like, look. Tear right there. Right there. And it's even worse on this one. So I use these for practice now. Plus, they don't even really fit me. I just put them in my back pocket. I would use them for, like, sliding and all that because they're just beaters. But, you know, I like them. I approve. Whatever you do, don't throw your bang gloves in the dishwasher. I mean, the... The washer, okay, not the dishwasher, the washer, okay, don't do that, just gonna ruin them. Got the helmet, Rawlings CFB H1 helmet in all black colorway, um, pro dry padding inside, very soft, very comfy, absorbs it, for all of you who like to see what it looks like on me, this is what it looks like. I am getting a C flash because I got hit in the, I got hit right here and then I got hit right here, so it hurt. Um, it was it, it was a bad time. Still on the accessories, I got my practice pants. These are all white. Wilson pants, all white, very soft. Very comfortable. Don't fit me though. Moving on, we have two baseballs. Always gotta have a baseball. I got a softball. And then this is funny. So this is actually a baseball, as you can tell here. I don't know if you can see though, but you see like the lace detailing. This is actually a baseball, but look. This is this is a bouncy ball. This is like a squishy T ball for like little kids. But I use it just to get warmed up because if I can, because this weighs less than this. If I can throw really fast with this, I can throw this two times faster. So I have this. Um, it's pretty cool. I warm up with it. And yeah. So later on in this video, I'm going to show you how I keep my glove in shape and have it not go flat. So that was it for accessories. Okay, that's it for accessories. Accessories. Sorry, I whenever I speak too fast, I messed up though but i'm just excited to be here before we move on to shoes 
smash the red subscribe button, hit the little bell icon below it, and make sure that you comment down below. Um, what else would you like me to get? What was your favorite part about this video? Make sure you share with your friends and all that good stuff. So now we got shoes. We got the white and black Nike slides. I use these just for baseball because they already got really dirty. Um, you don't want to. I wear these. You should get slides. Wear them to games and then wear them after games because your feet will hurt a little bit after wearing cleats and it makes it lighter and more comfortable for your feet. So I have these. Next pair, I don't wear these though, but I might. Under Armour black and white slides with the 4D foam. It's very soft. Oh, that's a satisfying ASMR right there. But and it does have the and Under Armour is the only brand that actually has Velcro, so there, I'm not going to bring it out because if you don't know what Velcro is, just go look at it yourself. Last thing for shoes are my cleats. These are, and I don't know what I'm going to do with these. These are Nike Varsity Low cleats with the all white bottom and the black Nike swoosh. It has all around the shoes completely leather, even the toe box, but the inside is mesh. These don't fit me now. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I want to get rid of them, but I also don't. They don't fit me, but, I mean, I can get my foot in there, though, but if I, when I play games, because our first game starts in April, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'm probably going to just sell them, like, if 30 bucks. Okay, moving on to gloves. I do play catcher a little bit. This is, you may remember this from my old channel. Mizuno Catcher's Mitt, we got the GXC 104 with the closed in web. It's all brown, has an all brown paw, brown and black all around. And it has right there, that's the sweet spot for the glove. It's a great glove, I love it. It's all in the pocket. Throws the ball. It's a great glove. Very good glove. I um, had that thing for about five years. This one I had. Moved on to my infield glove for the infield, obviously. This is a Wilson AA100. It's all brown with the traditional gold W's and gold Wilson AA100, the standard one. It has a G-Web. I don't know why it's called a G-Web, but it is. It's Optima series. It is A zero A R E one seven zero zero eleven three quarters or one point seven five. I go two in the pinky finger out. When I, sometimes I play outfield though, but now I go traditional. It's on the pocket. Walls it. So how I keep my glove in shape? So what I do is I keep the softball right there. Okay, and I take two baseballs, and I put it literally on top of it, like that. See that? And then, um, sometimes I would put a ball, like, literally inside the glove for, like, extra protection and all that. But I don't do that anymore. So moving on to the bats. This is my game bat. My Nike Era Fusion series with a silver barrel and a black handle. 3229 BB Core Certified Official Baseball Drop 3. This one's perfectly balanced, not end loaded. Great end cap. I love this end cap. Great, great pop. But the thing is that I can't hold it all the way down. I have to choke up a little bit. And then I just rip it and rip it. And this is a sweet spot. This is actually what the sweet spot is. Now up here, like right here. So it's a great bat, but the problem is that if you really want the Nike Air Fusion series, you're gonna have to pay about 380. I got that for sale for 200, and my mom said that, well that's the only thing you're getting for now. I'm like, okay. 
This is my practice bat. My Nike 2016 limited edition Easton Mako with that silver Easton. There's everything right there. Drop line. Got some pine tar right here. Got the multicolor grip tape. It says 31, 22, drop nine. I love this. I love this bat. This bat has more pop than the Nike, actually. But the thing is that it hurts my hand, so I have to choke up on it. And instead of having my hands very low, I have to choke up. Because whenever I swing, my hands go flying off sometimes, but it all really depends. But um, that's okay. No big deal. Um... My old bat that I was going to be using though, but then something happened. The, this is the Easton Stealth bat, SC888. There you go, red barrel. This bat's actually legal. Any Easton Stealth bat is banned. You can't use that bat. And plus, you know, grip tape. This bat's just garbage. Hey, if you want this bat, I'll give it to you for a dollar. I don't really care. I'll give it to you for a dollar. I don't need it. Yeah, so that was it for video number two of that. Don't forget to show me some love in the comments by subscribing, liking the video, turning on the post notifications, and that's it. Remember, greatness isn't given, it is earned. Stay Gucci, man.